Hello all and welcome. Today's test and review day. It's um, the Gamma Whisper Sting that's in today. We're going to put it through a few target tests out on our range and just see how it does and then I'll give you my conclusion of how good I think it, it is. Um, nothing here to hide, it's just simple target shooting. Obviously we'll put it across a few cards and put it through a few tests just to see what it's like. And then as I say, I'll just give you what I think my verdict is on the gun. Let's get it out there. First thing in for the Gamma Whisper Sting is our bottle top board. Uh, it'll be taking out the first three um, bottle tops on the right hand side of the board. So here we go. Let's see how it goes. It'll be using the Gamma Pro Hunter pellets as that's what it's been matched with. Let's go. Top blue one. Yep, it's just caught the top of that. So that was a classed as a hit. Next one down is the white one. Yeah, that's a good shot. And next shot is like the maroon coloured one there. Yeah, that's got a hole straight through it, so it's first sh three shots on the bottle tops, it's passed. Test two for our gamma. It's the spinners. Uh, four down, uh, the big one at the top, working its way down to the little one at the bottom. Let's see how he goes. Top one's good. Yep, second one's good. Third one's good. And just a little one at the bottom for a full house. Yeah, full house there, nice shooting, full clear round on that one. Next test for the Gamma is our gallery. Five shots with this one, needs to get the bottom four up and then the release. Well that's the full lifted. Can you hit the reset now for the full round? Indeed he can. Yeah. No problem at all there. That's another round passed for the whisper sting. This round is uh, target shooting. Being as I'm reviewing two guns at virtually the same time, I've decided to put them up against each other. The uh, whisper sting will go first in the left hand card, 5 to centre target, let's see how he gets on. Wow, this is uh, doing really well at the minute. Mm -hmm. 
This is going to cause a little bit of bother, I think, to the other guns in the league, this one. That's five in the balls are virtually on top of each other. That's fantastic shooting. Can the corral match or even get anywhere near that? It's going to be hard to do. Right. Corral now into the right hand target. This isn't shooting bad. Last one for the Krell, who shot really well. Again, really, really well. These two guns I bought for accuracy and they're showing signs of they could really do it. Right, what I will do, being as they've done both really well in that, uh, there's four outer targets on these. I'm going to go for the four outer targets. Whisper Sting to go first. One now. Again, four that are very close to the bullseye. Yeah, they're not too bad at all. Now, how can the corral do? Seeing what it's got to beat. Could it be that the crawl's a little bit uh, sharper? Well, good shooting, I think you'll agree there, by both guns. I'll um, I'll just stop the outdoor camera and I'll come back and I'll give you what I think of these grey guns. Okay, we put the uh, Gamma Whisper Sting uh, through, the, uh, through the chronograph earlier on today uh, as part of this test. Um, we've added the weight of the pellet which uh, with the Gamma Pro Hunters is 15.43. Uh, we found the velocity to be 585 feet per second. Uh, that gave us an energy of 11.73 foot pounds and 15.90 joules. So I think you'd agree that's not bad readings at all. That's not. Uh, so as I thought when I first um, used the gun, I thought it's got a, a decent kick to it, and I was right. So that's not bad readings at all. Okay, well, what did I think of the Gamma Whisper Sting after putting it through its paces? Uh, you can see it's a quality gun. It reminds me very much of the Gamma Whisper X. It's got an accuracy that's that's lovely to shoot. Um, I've not shot, sh shot the gun yet freestanding. Uh, the Gamma Whisper X, uh, I can't seem to get along with it freestanding. Whereas, now as soon as you get it onto the target, it's fantastic. 
this new gun, the Whisper Sting, from what I've seen today, it hasn't missed a beat. It's there, it's, you know, I mean, five balls eyes, I mean, that would put the X set under, under a bit of pressure. That's what we want. We don't want the X set to run off with this league. We want it to have at least a challenger. And I think this Whisper Sting could be it. Um, from what it's shot today and how it's done, um, the Exocet would feel very much under pressure from this gun, it's, it's fantastic to shoot. Um, it done quite well as well on our chrono, chronograph, like it's got a fair bit of power there as well. Uh, my personal feeling on the gun, would I buy one? Yes I would, uh, I'd recommend one to anybody, they're not very expensive, I think a Whisper Sting now goes for around £150-£160. Uh, around that mark on the British market and um, probably worth every penny of that to be fair if the accuracy is what you want because that is a very accurate gun worth it uh, have a word with the uh, nice people down at Leicestershire Air Guns you may get it underneath that £150-£160 mark that I've just stated I know they do have a few down there at the moment on offers so have a word with Phil and Jackie down there uh, you'll probably get yourself a nice bargain and I'll be honest with you from this is the first time really I've shot the gun from what I can see today it's worth the money it's a good gun uh, so yes uh, from me to you that's a recommendation I would definitely buy that gun it's accurate as anything it's as you've seen it's shot really well today it's not Mr Beat um, thank you for tuning in to this review today obviously if you've enjoyed please like subscribe for more like this and uh, I'll see you all soon in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.